What is good? It's your boy. I'm back with another video. Uh, this is going to be my cons for being a merchant seaman. Because, yes, there are cons. With the good comes the bad. So, we're going to drop these cons and we're going to talk about what it is, what it ain't, don't it stink. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, number one, the biggest one of them all. With being a merchant seaman, unless you get a ship where you are stationed at, the thing you are giving up is your time away from your family. Yes, time is one of the biggest factors, one of the biggest turnover rates. People do get tired of leaving their family for four, three months at a time, however many. Because these companies don't care about your family. They don't. They just want you. That's all they want. They don't care if you... About to have a child, they don't, they don't care about none of that. You find a company that care about that type of stuff, you are lucky. Because it's not too many. So, that being said, you become an emergency seaman, you're going you gonna to miss a lot of time at home. Uh, you're going to miss a lot. You gonna, I've missed a lot in my six years being out here. I lost a lot of friendships that I had with people. Um, even though I have gained some, but that the truth is I've lost some probably more than I've gained. And... You know, that's nobody else's fault but mine because I chose to put my career first. But my family always comes first. And, you know, you got to decide what's going to come first for you. Is it going to be your career or your family? I chose family, career, friends because I'm trying to get this bag. You know what I'm saying? You'll be there when I quit or I retire if you're a true friend. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, it's time, man. Time away is like one of the biggest factors. Yes, it, it definitely hurts. That is a major con for a lot of people and why they would choose not to come or become a merchant seaman. Um, second one, this job is dangerous. This is dangerous. When don't let nobody tell you the money's easy because it's not. It's dangerous. People die out here. People die. Not just play. Uh, people do die though. Um, this is very serious. It's very dangerous. Um, ships are very dangerous. Uh, Probably one of the worst places to work on is a ship. Um, it's very dangerous. I've seen people have many accidents from not paying attention. Um, I've seen people almost drown. I've seen people, I've seen a lot in my six years, and this is definitely a dangerous job. Um, it mainly comes down to people having common sense and paying attention to your surroundings. If you don't have common sense and you know you don't pay attention, this ain't for you. Um, what else? Number three would probably be um you lose sight of how can i say this you lose sight of the real world like you know some people choose to be gone for four months or six months at a time if you're on a ship and you're deployed for 45 time 45 days or 60 days or however long you're deployed for on that water before you touch land you know you miss you miss so much in that time period to where when you finally do get in contact with family or friends or you watch the news that gap is now so far that they're forgetting to tell you certain information certain things you won't find out until later on in life i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but you you're losing you lose sight of the real world there's so much information and so many things that i missed you know people having babies and what not and I come home and I'm like oh man when did you have a child when were you pregnant like you know what happened there you know but and it's nobody fault but my own or you know just miscommunication you know I, I was out of the loop for a while I, I missed certain things you'll miss certain things this is the path you choose to, to go on but you will lose sight of the real world and maybe that sounds stupid maybe it doesn't hopefully you understand what I'm saying um Number four, people, people, um, yeah, that's a major con because not, you're not going, you're not going to get along with probably too many people. You're going to run into a lot of assholes. You're going to run into a lot of races. You're going to run into everything you would run into at a regular job. But the difference that I explain to a lot of people is that, yes, this is not a regular job. One you're you're on a ship you live with these people so it's not like you know when you have a bad day at work you get to go home no when you have a bad day at work you go back to your room 
and you still have to see these people. If you share a person, if you share a room with the person, you're going to still have to see this person. Tomorrow, you're going to see this person over and over again. It's 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 not easy, you know. Um, number five, last but not least, um, most of these companies don't relieve people on time. You know, they tell you you're going to do four months here, four months there, six months, three months on, blah blah blah, and you're not relieved or you're not rotated out like you should be. You end up waiting a long amount of time. And that causes a lot of people to be upset because, you know, you, you gave them your time. You expect them to have somebody out here to relieve you. Reliefs are a big thing in our job because it's a very high turnover rate. So it's not enough people to relieve people. But that's a very major con. You're not relieved on time to properly go home. So that's five cons that I got. If you got any questions, drop them down below. If you got any comments, drop them down below. And once again, if you found these helpful, if you found these cons helpful, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, baby. I'm here to help. Don't be afraid to comment. I, ask, I answer so many people's questions, and I, hopefully I'm helping a lot of people. That's the goal. Um, now, don't take my cons as, oh, I'm telling you not to do this. I'm not trying to stray anybody away. I'm just keeping it real. Um, and that's just what it is. If, if my little five facts strayed you away, then this is not for you. If you're thinking like after I just explain all of this to you, like, dang, this might not be the career for me. Most likely it's not, but I'm not telling you not to give it a try. You could give anything a try. Give it a try. Worst thing come to worst, you don't like it and you got to quit. Hey, you might like it and love it. Anyways, big dog out, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell one time for your boy. I'm out. Peace.